Hi and welcome to this tutorial which is a tutorial for creating beautiful um, graphic art or illustrations with free elements and easily in Canva which is also free. Um, on the screen is just an example of an Instagram post that I created really quickly with all free elements and it was super easy. So let's have a go. First of all, we're going to be using Canva. So this is uh, canva.com and the first um, free elements that I'm going to show you is from a website called Every Tuesday. So Every Tuesday is an awesome YouTube channel which I'll add a link to and they have this resource library here which I'll also add the link to and they have this watercolor uh, watercolor florals mini kit that you can download and it's free so if we go back to uh, Canva so let's create an Instagram post so I would just go click here for Instagram post and I've already got my um, this is my every Tuesday watercolor mini kit so these are the elements that you get in the um, every Tuesday watercolor florals mini kit that you get for free and all I needed to do was add them to my uploads and you can either drag and drop them in or you can click this button here upload your own images so as you can see the images are already in there and they've got this black background because they are PNG files and when you add them um, there's no background as you can see so you can just um, drag them in here and you can change the size and let's just have a go with this one here so this one here makes this cool um, little water and if I go to the text this would make a really cool announcement um, if you had a little girl we're having a girl now I prefer that to be in a different color so if you want to change the color of something um, what I like to do is match it to other elements on my page I'm going to use the this is a chrome extension just google it eyedropper and I'm going to pick color and I'm going to pick up that dark color there and then I'm going to copy it I'm going to click on here, click on my font, click on the colour, click on the plus and paste that code in. And as you can see I've now changed the colour and we'll change that one. I can just pick it there. And how cool does that look? And I did that all with free, free elements and it looks really professional. I could also um, put a nice background in there. To make everything pop let's just make it a bit more just that nice neutral background makes everything pop and there you go really quick and really simple now over here I started making a floral wreath using these elements so what I did was I dragged in the the branch turned it around and just started placing it in the shape of a wreath So I just keep using the same element over and over again and I've just been using it in the same direction and depending on how patient you are you can just keep putting them in and creating a nice floral wreath. As you can see in Canva it's really simple to just um, make resize things and then turn them around okay depending on how fussy you are you can play around with that so that was just using that one little element and then I'm just plopping in the flowers and 
And the thing that makes Reeves look really cool is just by using different kinds of leaves. And you can make that one really small and just make it pop out. And that's what gives it that kind of like authentic look. And I would just keep going, putting in those flowers, making them different sizes. And that actually looks quite cool. And I haven't even really mucked around with it that much. So there you go. Really simple. Totally easy. Totally free. Alright. Now I really like um, quotes. Um, so I was just looking at these, um, this quote art. And as you can see, I've just just about made one so this one I made it A4 because I would be printing it at home on A4 and all I now need to do is put um, a quote in it and I've got a beautiful custom quote art so isn't she lovely something like that so let's go back to my um, A4 let's go to my text I'm just going to click on text isn't that's not right isn't she lovely so this would be some art that you might put up in the little girls room I'm going to change the font let's try this one um, the trick to making these look really good is to make them big and then just kind of muck around with it a bit if you click on spacing you can squish it up a bit more there we go and that gives it that more um, the look that it's been done by hand a bit more so just by putting a few extra spaces in there and changing the line spacing you can make it a bit more custom looking that looks pretty good and I could even if I was really fussy just move this out a bit more Hey, that's looking really good. There we go, a little bit of custom artwork. Now, let's say I can't be bothered making a wreath. Um, I found another really good resource, and that is your um, Creative Market. Now, every week, Creative Market sends out a six freebies. So, I invite you to click on the link in the description and um, sign up and get these freebies sent to you every week and the f one of the freebies this week is Rosaline so if you just happen to click on the same week as, as I did you'll get this one for free I'll also put the link to Rosaline in the comments as well so you can find it and as you can see it's all these beautiful watercolours elements so here they go all these amazingly beautiful watercolour elements I think there's there's like 30 different elements there and they're in JPEG and PNG and as you can see there are different wreaths so all I need to do is drag it in oops okay forget that let's go back to camera um, let's make a new one go back to Rosalie and I'm just going to drag it and copy it into here and as you can see I've already got a couple of different wreaths that I've um, dropped in I also want to have a look at these ones here also look really beautiful as well and easy to use so look at that beautiful and you could um, make an Instagram quote or you can make an invitation or something like that. I want to see what this wreath looks like. Beautiful. And then you can put your little quote in there. So let's have a look at flower quotes. Happiness blooms from within. That sounds pretty good. Add my heading. Happiness 
plumes from I never know which ones to capitalize I know it really all shouldn't be capitalized because it's a quote and I want it to look artistic let's try that and then just play around with the size and the font let's do something script make it super big squeeze it up if you want it to look a bit more um, done by hand you can just play around with the the spacing okay I won't bore you with the playing around let's just say that looked a bit better like this one or this one and I also put a background on that so I'll go back to this one background and we'll just make it a bit lighter or you can use your color picker to find something a color from the actual picture and there you go all right well done to making it to the end of this tutorial I hope that I um, showed you something that you'll find useful um, to recap um, Canva is really useful especially for um, people that aren't that confident using um, making graphics and using the computer um, every Tuesday awesome YouTube channel and um, website and creative market absolutely amazing graphics for free and for really reasonable prices so um, check out all the links in the description like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later.